We're all gathered here and all set to our viewers. Welcome to our special Women's Entrepreneur Forum. But before we start, let me introduce my co-host, Natalie. Thank you, Rodri. As a reminder to all our viewers, we have simultaneous interpretation available for all as long as you attend via the Zoom webinar. All you need to do is to click on the button and select your preferred language. Thank you. And to all our guests, wonderful, beautiful women are meeting together. I'm so honoured to be with you. And today, what's special is that we have Casey online with us right now in Malaysia. Let's say hi to Casey. Hello, hi. Hello Casey. We hope you're doing well and great in Malaysia. So without further ado, let's kickstart the session. I'm sure all of us are very excited to hear from each one of you. So Casey, maybe um, just share with a short introduction about yourself. Hi Natalie and Roderick. Hi friend and Zen. Thank you for having me here. You guys are in Singapore and here I am in Penang. I really miss travelling to Singapore. Um, I am very grateful to be invited to share in this Women's Entrepreneur Forum. I'm very passionate about women in business, perhaps due to my upbringing. I grew up with five sisters. There are like six of us, girls. And uh, my mom was a busy housewife who also took care of my dad's business. I'm a mom of three. My kids are five, seven and 20 years old. I was a chemical engineer in a telecommunication company prior to New Skin. Now I call myself a chemical engineer in the kitchen, running a home base but global business. Thank you, Casey. That sounds wonderful. And you sure don't look like a mother of three, definitely, to me. Thank you. And maybe to Fran, just give a short introduction by yourself. Good morning, everyone. I'm Fran, a mother of two. My children are 12 and 13 years old. Prior to New Skin, I was an accountant in a local listed company. Just like many uh, other working moms, my time with my family was quite limited and I can only be a weekend parent. Thanks to New Skin, yeah, now I can have a lot of quality time with my family and whenever my children need me, I can always be there for them. Thank you, New Skin. Thank you, friend. Then how about yourself? Okay, so for myself, I think first and foremost, I'd like to thank you guys for inviting me to this Women's Entrepreneur event. And you know, it's an honor to be with these two beautiful women who are come and tell their mother of two and trees, right? So for myself, uh, you know why I'm very honored? It's because uh, from young, I don't know why I would have this kind of dream. It's my dream to be a mummy pronier. So to be able to share here is like dreams come true. Mm. So I'd like to thank you guys for actually allowing me to be sharing here, okay? So uh, like friend, I'm also a mother of two. And prior to you know doing this wonderful business full time, I was an auditor where I learned to count and count and count. And that's probably why I'm this business as well. And after that, I went on to be a headhunter for 10 years where I helped other people find their dream job. And maybe because I was a headhunter, then I was able to find my own dream job to be your mummy Purnia. So here I am. Thank you for inviting me once again. <laughs> Thank you, Zen, so much for the introduction. I guess all of us want to know what inspired all of you to embark on a new skin business. So maybe Zen, you can share with us. Okay, so I think mine's simple, uh, no complexity for myself. Uh, actually, I come from a very closely family uh, of four. Uh, and from young, I wanted to find a business and career that allows flexibility. And the reason behind this is because uh, my parents actually worked all the way. I didn't have the... Uh, I would say I didn't have the advantage of having a you know, housewife as a mom because um, she didn't want to stay at home, right? And she has always taught me from young to say, hey, you know, you can take care of your children, but you must also earn your own money. So from young, I really grew up with this image that says, hey, you know, I want to be as amazing as my mom, but yet I'm a bit more greedy. I wanted to be a full-time mommy. So of course, when I had my first kid, the, the dream started going crazy. Say, hey, you know, how can I make my dreams come true? And when my second princess came along, Janelle, I decided to then embark on this dream. So I guess, lo and behold, uh, my ex-colleague found me, Melissa. So thanks to Melissa, I'm here. And I decided to embark on this journey because uh, number one, it allows me to run the business globally, but from home. 
you know, with all the zoom and all. And number two, uh, as I mentioned, my dream is to be a full-time mummy, with, so I can be a full-time mummy to my children where I pick them up, I'm able to see them cry, to be able to see them laugh, to be able to see them do everything the first time. Um, so I cannot imagine not doing this for them. And I think the thing is really to be able to have a personal identity. I like to tell people that I don't want to be known as Gordon's wife. Gordon's my husband, obviously, right? Uh, I don't want to be known only as Janelle or Jeremiah's mummy. I want to be known as Zen. I want to have my own personal identity. I don't want to be somebody else, right? And I think number four, besides being having my own personal identity, I realized that the reason why I really want to embark in this business it is the greatest platform where I can make amazing people like you, uh, good looking mummies like you girls as well, and then they can actually partner me in this business. So here I am, Mummy Prunia. Yep. That sounds like a lot of um, benefits that she has um, Super loads of experience, it. right? Oh, I think she used a very interesting word. If you caught that, that was like a mummy preneur. Yes, yeah. mummy preneur. <laughs> yep. That seems like a prerequisite for our guest here today who has, you know, um, uh, at least two children or three, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, we shall hear more from you later. Thank you. Friend? Okay, um, initially, I was just a very happy customer, slimmed down very well with TR90. Never in my mind that I will come into this kind of business, you know, in network marketing, doing sales. Yeah, but then when I came to know that through this platform, I can be an entrepreneur, building many around the world. And most importantly, uh, I can have a very good lifestyle with uh, flexible income, uh, with flexible time and good income after I build on my network. I decided to embark on the business. Um, to me, new skin journey is like a treasure, treasure hunt game whereby I have to conquer challenges along the way but at the same time, I also power up by collecting gems. I partner with many people and we work together to achieve our goals. Yeah, and it is very exciting and fulfilling. Mm. I surely can hear that um, excitement from you, that sparkle from her eyes when she explained the way how this um, business um, is, is providing for her, right? So yeah, we'll hear from you too. Casey, back to you. Hi, um, I love my job as a chemical engineer in a big technology company. However, I started to look into starting a business in my 30s. That was like 18 years ago. Perhaps because I became a mom and I realized that time became very precious, I long for more time with my daughter. I look into new skin because as a business, I could see what success is on this path. I can see how big it can be for my, from my mentors and many other life examples from those who were successful in this business. How exciting life is to have a great leverage income and able to spend quality time with family and themselves. I'm very thankful to them for showing me what I had never thought possible. I love this business because it is about helping people to be healthier, younger, and empowered. I simply love our new skin slogan and uh, you all know, know about the slogan, Disco slogan, discover the best you. And I can see the strength of this company, a reliable partner for a long term. I believe all success needs hard work and time. This is a platform that is worth my efforts building part time despite being a busy working mom. The journey at the beginning was exciting and scary at the same time. It is like the feeling of entering a roller coaster. I'm not sure if you had that experience before. But I'm truly grateful that my husband held my hands really tight and my mom stepped in to help with my baby. Thank you, Casey. And you mentioned about exciting and scary like a roller coaster. I would assume, and my next question to you would be this one What challenges have you experienced as a woman in the new skin business? And what keeps you going when things get tough? I find that our business is kind of unique. While we do have challenges, they are actually not really physical business challenges like in a traditional business, you know, such as cash flow problems, inventory problems, taking care of employees and all that. We are kind of shielded away from those big challenges because we are working with New Skin, you know, the number one weight management brand in Malaysia, Singapore, and number one in the world in beauty gadget. We are truly, truly blessed. Our challenges are mostly due to time and emotion. At least that's my personal experience. I mean, women in business, you know, sometimes can be lonely because not our, all our friends share the same vision. Sometimes after not seeing results, despite working very hard for a long time, self-doubts does kick in. 
um, sometimes logic tells us that it is okay, you know, the time will pass, this is just a journey, the sunshine will come out tomorrow, just handle it. But sometimes as a woman, I have to admit it, emotion can take over our brain. So uh, when we meet that, firstly, we need to accept ourselves that we are human beings with emotion. Do not push our emotions away, but accept it. Make terms with it. Make emotion your friend and even your motivation. What can break you can drive you too. After 18 years in business, I came to conclude that we just need to focus and work excellently on what we can control. For things we cannot control, let go. That gives me peace of mind. And peace of mind is very important for me because it enables me to go on. Successful Success comes in baby steps, doing the same thing on the right path again and again. There's no free lunch in the world, yet no hard work will ever be wasted. Accept imperfection. Laugh at our mistakes. Forgive people who may not understand us or may be unkind. And most importantly, love ourselves. And uh, throughout these years, what kept me going was the ability to visualize my dreams, which was able to spend time with my daughter and growing up with her. And uh, throughout these uh, last few years, what kept me going is to see my team partners. Um, they are so um, happy in the business and uh, they are empowered and they, become, they have better lives. I don't give up easily because giving up is like letting go of my dreams. Thank you, Casey. The same question goes to Fran. Okay, um, when I decided to embark on the business, my first challenge is the objection from my family. Me also. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our husband, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> my husband is very, not very, super skeptical about this industry. Yeah, and also because I started the business as a part-time basis, mm. my, fam my family time reduced as I need to meet people and attend meetings uh, after work and even during weekends. So he was not very happy about it. Yeah, and as for my parents, um, they also wonder why I should switch my career after I've studied and worked so hard to be a professional accountant. To them, this is already good enough. Yeah, my mom also feels that uh, I should focus more on my family instead of working so hard to build our business because she feels that uh, this should be my husband's role. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then um, another challenge is uh, I have to juggle my full-time job, my family and new skin at the same time. At that point of time, my children are still very young. They were two and three years old. So I need to plan my schedule ahead and to make arrangements for, for my children to be taken care of when I need to work or even uh, or when I need to travel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, when my mother-in-law was not available, I have to bring my children from the east all the way to the west to my parents. And there were times that they need to stay overnight with my parents. Um, it's not easy and I treasure my time to be with them even more. But I always believe that it's the quality of time that matters. Mm. Yeah, and in fact, this become uh, my key motivational factors that I must succeed faster in this business. Mm. Um, they were up and down during the journey, just like many other businesses and jobs. Mm. Don't you agree that if we want to do well in anything, we have to put in a lot of effort and work mm. hard? For sure. Yeah. sure. Yeah. But I know that no matter how hard I work in my job, um, it's still just a job. Yeah. It won't give me any uh, job security and it won't give me any uh, long-term solution. And I know that, you know, this is the chance, you know, this is chance for me to change uh, and to this is chance for me to change my whole family's future. Yeah. Uh, so even though it's not easy, but I know it's definitely worth it. Well said, friend. Actually, what Fran was saying is challenges will always be there. Yes, definitely. It's just a choice to win and to succeed. Yes, definitely. Then Okay, I, I guess I know why I'm the third one because uh, Casey's challenges plus friend challenges equals <laughs> my challenges and many, many more. Okay, so I, I, I won't lie. Um, I, again, uh, I think after doing the new skin business, sometimes challenges then comes across as little pebbles along the road to make your journey more exciting, right? So maybe I won't repeat the challenges I have like uh, what they have mentioned, but I think uh, 
I'm not sure about you, you girls, right? So as I said, initially my husband was uh, not the most supportive. I wouldn't say aggressively against it. But I think because uh, when I, I'll probably share my challenges when I became full time, right? So when I decided to do this business full time, people was like, okay, you know, Zen has the flexibility, the freedom, isn't that what you're preaching about? So everybody expect me to be everywhere at any point in time. Mm. And they expect me to example, even the oven cannot light up also my fault, you know, a car cannot start also maybe my problem, you know, everything is also because Zen is very free, right? <laughs> but you don't realise that actually it's our positioning. Because to me, New Skin is a business, right? So I really feel that in this challenge that I, I you know, I, I receive, I realised that the positioning on how we actually handle this business is very important because when you allow someone to treat this business like a part-time or you know play play only, they really would be able to uh, take over your boundary. So I think the ability to say no is important in, in, in this aspect of things. Um, I think the next challenge for me, like what uh, KC said as well, is emotions. I mean like for Frank, I, when I started the business, my baby was only one years old. My son was only three, so you can imagine um, really the emotions, expectations of myself as a daughter, uh, I, I get, as a mother, uh, don't forget my wife, so baby, I so want to be a perfect wife, uh, and as an entrepreneur as well. Uh, I always feel that because of the expectations of myself, I feel that even though I'm doing this business, I need to be number one in everything, okay? So I feel that what they can do, I also can do better, you know? So it, it got really tiring for me because um, as, as what friend said, right, we have to take care of our newborn. So I feel sometimes it's the greatest challenge for me is the emotions to say that, hey, I'm a human after all. It is not necessary to be perfect all the time. Mm. So the ability to let go, uh, the ability to say, hey, it's okay to be weak. It's okay to let go and let someone take over sometimes when you're tired. It's very, very, very important. So with all these challenges, of course, uh, with naysayers as well, when you hear negative stuff, I think what really kept me going is the reason why I'm in this business. Uh, I want to pursue this business for my family. And I'm very blessed, uh, despite my husband, you know, a bit of nagging and all, is the fact that they are very supportive. Of course, like Frank, I'm also a CPA, I'm accounting background as well. But, you know, my mom and my dad always ask me, you know, uh, are you happy in this business? I said, I'm happy. Then they go, go ahead then, you know. So they're really my cheerleaders. So so it's because of them, every time I fall, I will stand. And of course, you know, Daddy, I think you are online today. So really, my motivation is you because you have taught us from young, uh, where you fall is where you stand and where you stand is where you become stronger. So really, um, today, who I am and every challenges I have gone through is really for you know, this wonderful man, you know, my father, yeah. So really, he's my role model and what keeps me going is that I will be the same role model to my children and I do hope that 15 or 20 years later, when they are being interviewed, maybe that's what they will say of me. So that's the key thing that keeps me going. Thank you. Thank you, Zen. Thank you, Zen. I think that's um, so much that we are hearing from her. And in fact, I think rejections don't just happen here, mm. but it happens to anyone and everywhere. And really, surely overcoming that emotional challenge is biggest, one of, I should say, one of the biggest challenges one will face in anything that you do. Definitely. But from the examples and um, stories that three of you um, have shared, um, just shows to us that this is not impossible. Um, but as long as it's for the why and for the who you want to do it for that gives you the reason to persist exactly. right so yeah i think that was a great um i think insight for us sorry for um especially for me and um well i think every path has its own challenges right so um you may have your different set of challenge everyone has a different um, um story in which that they get out of this um uh, difficult obstacle but um through it all i think it's the importance of the process yes. right um, what would you say would be your most important takeaway or lesson learned? Okay, I think I have many takeaways but let me share maybe the most important. Uh, I always believe, right, uh, your authentic self has no competition. Uh, again, I, I think uh, as you all know from my background, I used to be an auditor and then I've been a headhunter. So I was in corporate world for about 15 years. and. I think it's the journey of, you know, trying to be better and better. I, I forgot who I am because I'm very worried that if I let people know who I am, I will, you know, people will know my weakness. 
So I think with 15 years of that image where you know you be cool, you you kind of have emotions, <laughs> yeah. and then people say I'm a tiger woman and all. So when I first came into this business, when you know uh, my mentors keep telling me, hey, it's okay to be yourself. I believe there's some love inside you. I'm like, oh my goodness, what are you talking about, right? So it took me quite some time. But I realized that uh, it's really a struggle when you try to be someone else. And in this journey, I can truly say that you can be yourself, mm. you know. Um, I always tell people, people, other people may, may know me as a tiger. I was like, wow, you know. But actually inside, right, I'm just a little cat which nobody believes me. And they always laugh when I say that, okay. But I feel that when you're real, uh, the right people will follow you. And in this journey, you would realize that when you first start, you try to be someone else. Because you feel, hey, this person is successful because she's like that. And I tried that. I tried to be the gentle one, the nice, you know, the nice, sweet smelling one. And my husband started to say, oh my God, who are you? Why are you acting like this? So I'm like, uh, because I think that lady is successful because she's gentle. She's like, oh, can you just stop it? Because they can't take it, right? So I decided that accept myself for who you are. And when I did that, yes, I may be a bit crazy, a bit loud. I attracted the people that like me for who I am. And when you are yourself, you really attract the universe, you attract the love, you attract the right people to be, you know, to be with you, right? So of course, I will tell uh, you guys out there, uh, don't be afraid of being yourself. Uh, it's okay to be independent, it's okay to be strong, it's alright, right? So don't be too um, hardcore about, you know, letting go. I feel that's that. So I think last but not least, the greatest thing I also learned is accept yourself. Really accept yourself. In this journey, you can accept yourself. And I think, again, I repeat this, uh, Again, I think I'm here for this reason is that, you know, I'm often reminded that it's okay to be weak. It's really okay to be weak. I know mummies have so many images, you need your best wife every time. And in this business, when, you know, I'm weak so-called, um, you realise you really don't have to be the hero all the time. And that's the perfect, you know, part about this business. It is teamwork. You can actually take the back seat at times and let someone else take on the main role. It's okay, right? That's the wonder of this business. So my friends, it doesn't matter. You don't have to be number one all the time. Someone else can be and yet we still can grow together. So that's my greatest uh, takeaway. That reminded me of a Korean show. It's okay not, not to, to be, be oh, okay. Oh, I love that yeah. show. I know, right? <laughs> but I think not all the time. Not yeah, all yeah. The time. It's, it's okay not to be okay. Yeah, but I think um, Zen has really shared a very good point about herself. I don't remember seeing you slowing down at all. Yeah, you're I always tried. on the go. And Maybe you're one always, day, yeah. one day. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, be yourself, yes, right? I think that's, you. that's yeah, that's what we love about you. Thanks. <laughs> How about Fran? Okay, um, I'm an introvert. I don't talk much to people and my circle of friends is very small. You know, when I told my husband that I want to do the business, his first reaction was, <laughs> you only have five friends. How can you succeed in the business? Yeah, so, but then through New Skin journey, I learned that everybody has their potential. Mm, yes. We can learn, we can grow, as long as we are willing to. Um, so I learned to care more about others, to be more concerned about people's needs. Even though I'm not sociable and I don't speak very well, uh, but my, I, I touch people with my sincerity and my heart. Yeah, and I also learn uh, how to lead my team to achieve their goals. So I started the business with five friends, but uh, and none of them <laughs> joined me into the business. Me too. Yeah, very sad. <laughs> <laughs> but my number of friends uh, actually uh, grow tremendously as my business grew. Yeah, thanks to Power of Network. Thank you, friend. We hope one day the five friends whom you initially wanted to make friends with uh, will still continue to see that um, transformation, right? And yeah. eventually yeah. become um, one of your, you know, team members. They will, well. they will. <laughs> <laughs> Believe in that. Yes. But, you know, small numbers doesn't mean anything, right? But today, yes. look at um, the friendships that she has made, the relationships that she has um, collated over the years. I think that would have been one of the biggest milestones you have for being yes. an introvert, right? When you mentioned that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, friend. Alright, back to you, Casey. What would you say as uh, one of the important lessons you have gained um, during the process of this journey? Actually, I have quite a few. At first, I thought this business is to earn money, which is true, it is a business. You know, earning money is important. But later on, I found out that this business is beyond earning money. New Skin is a leadership business. We empower people to expand their dreams, have the courage to pursue their dreams, and discover the best of themselves. 
And to do that, we need to be willing to learn and change ourselves. For me, I have changed 180 degrees and beyond. Every day, I still ask myself, how can I become a better person and a better leader? Even today in this uh, forum, is a breakthrough for me. And um, all successful businesses need hard work, but it doesn't mean that you have to suffer. I mean, hard work is real, but how you feel is a choice. Choose to be happy at working hard. Especially in New Skin, there's a community with so much support and positive vibes. All work and no play makes Jill a dull girl. So make the journey really fun, okay? And um, not all successes is measured by money or title. There are important things in life that is invaluable, such as time with family, make a difference in others, empower people, personal discoveries and all that. I'm sure all of you who have been in this business long enough have got yourself credits for being successful in some or all of these areas, right? So pat ourselves on the shoulder and acknowledge ourselves. Don't be too hard on ourselves. Be happy at where we are but always strive for better. Celebrate little victories along the way because the more we celebrate, the more there are to celebrate. And um, lastly, always set goals daily goals, weekly goals, monthly goals, and yearly goals. If not, we are actually drifting. Especially now we are physically apart and staying at home, it is even easier to be distracted in the world of social media. Social media entrepreneur is the type of work we need to keep swimming towards a set direction. We need to keep kicking the water, else we will be drifted or even drowned. Many people are afraid to set goals because they are worried. What if they cannot meet the goals? But goals are guides for our actions. Goals are our friends. Goals give us disciplines. And when we set a high goal, our challenges become smaller. Higher goals give us a higher ground to see even further. So do not be afraid to set goals. Thank you, Casey. Now you're talking about setting goals. And I'd like to take note on this also. I, you mentioned about happiness, right? Um, you know, there was a study saying that a person can be really happy by helping other people. They can feel genuine happiness by helping other people, which leads me to the next question about the force for good. Why do you think being a force for good is such an important philosophy in doing new skin? Actually, this is the core of what drove me to start this business. I was looking for a long-term business, not a get-rich-quick or a fly-by night. I believe all businesses that are built to last must be based on the philosophy of doing great for the community. So when I found out that this is the core of New Skin, I was so excited. And um, frankly speaking, I wanted to get started, but I was too shy to talk to people about New Skin initially, you know, to sell business or even the products or even the vision, mainly because it is direct selling, you know. So I asked myself if what I share is doing something good. And I, am I making a difference to other people? Because it, if it is, then it is like doing a charity. I'm not afraid to share. In fact, I share very, very passionately because it is a, a force for good. So I want to thank New Skin for this force for good philosophy because this is exactly what gave me the courage to kickstart. And uh, moving forward, after many years in the business, I realized that we can't chase after money. We need to work hard, but we can be more effective by working hard and doing good at the same time. To attract, we need to manifest abundance through the power of doing good. Focus on giving what we want and we will eventually attract what we want. Thank you, Casey. Same question goes to Fran. Yeah, uh, I really, this is another thing that I really appreciate about New Skin. I love New Skin platform because I'm able to give when I'm building up my business. Yeah, and then uh, on top of um, helping people to be prettier and healthier, um, New Skin empowers me you know, to make a difference in other people's life. Mm. Yeah, there is this case whereby uh, I get to know a young lady mm. who worked as a bus driver uh, in Singapore for more than 10 years. She worked so hard that she only went back to Malaysia to visit her parents twice a year. And she never... Um, spend Chinese New Year with her parents for the past 10 years. Isn't it very sad? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. To be away from the family. Yeah. Yes. But through New Skin, 
uh, she is able to go back to Malaysia while building up the business. And this year, she finally, you know, have a chance to celebrate Chinese New Year together with her parents. Yeah. And then through New Skin, I'm also able to be a force for good to help uh, the needy people. Um, in the past, I also make donation, but it's just a few times a year and it's in a small amount. But you know, through New Skin Force for Good programs, I'm able to do it and also not by myself, but extend it to my network. Mm. Yeah, I believe um, uh, we have many people through the network, right? Uh, we, we are, we'll be able to help more people. Mm. Yeah. Agree. Zen? Okay, I'm going to be honest. Can I be? Uh, Sure. I think Casey and Fran are so loving and so thing. I think when I first started the business, I didn't even thought about force for good. Yeah. Okay, so I I need to be real, right? Because I told you guys that I've learned to accept myself for who I am. So, authentic. That's yeah, what you very mean. authentic. Okay, but 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 having said that, having said that, um, the force for good actually kept me in this business. Yeah. Okay, so it may not have attracted me, but I have truly learned that you know, New Skin as a company with a force for good, right? I realize you can be successful yeah. and yet still give. Yeah. And only when you're successful, then you can give a lot. Okay, so through this business, um, I think I've changed so much because of this whole force for good. I realized that really more joy in giving uh, I'll be frank I think last time I'd rather take than give I don't understand this whole oh my gosh it's better to give than to take I was like what rubbish is this right but when I started to give I started to feel happy when I start to see people smiling because they are transformed I started to feel happy when I started to you know uh, you know get the team to actually do the force for good funding and all I started to feel happy so you may say that I'm selfish, I probably am, but to be able to see so many people smiling, to be able to see so many children safe, to be see, so, see so many people being fed, actually gives me so much joy that what our little hands can do. And with a combination of like what friends said with our network, that's many, many hands, right? So really, Force for Good is really not just one activity. It's a group of people making things happen. So, you know, I would say that it didn't bring me in, but it's, it's the thing that keeps me going here. Oh, so you, thank you, you very can, much. You can escape from the Force for Good. As long as you're in New Skin, you'll be with Force for Good, definitely. Yeah, and truly, I think New Skin's um, heart is, our mission is to be the Force for Good, right? And we really want to be able to empower more people, yes. right, to improve their lives. Thank you for being such a Force for Good. Thank you. Thank you. So maybe let's move on to the next question then. Okay. Right? Um, to the uh, other aspiring women who wants to be entrepreneurs as well, mm -hmm. um, what advice would you want to be able to give them um, if they are thinking of um, starting a business or wanting Joining to us. be able to changing yeah, their career situation, environment? Yeah. Okay, so I think uh, I think at the end of the day, I'm sure I think you know. Um, it's very obvious, right? You need to know your why, uh, why you're doing this business. Uh, because if you don't know your reason why you're doing this business, uh, there will be many naysayers out there. And these naysayers could be in both negative and positive form. So like for myself, uh, I think I was very clear that I wanted a platform where I could have spent more time with my children or you know, to have the flexibility. I think that was key for me. And, and that happened when a lot of other women as well, they joined me. I think they got a lot of also, um, negative feedback and they get very upset but I always like to ask this question where is this negative feedback coming from right it could be the fact that if your husband or your wife or your you know uh, parents or your friends are saying this to you it could be the fact that they care because a lot of people don't know what our business is about they are very negative about it and when they are saying uh, uh, when they are throwing negative comments at you they are not actually talking about you they are probably concerned that you'll be hurt so when you know why they are actually saying all this to you and when you know why you are doing this business, you will then stay firm. So my friends, I will tell you, follow your heart. Actually, you know it, right? I always tell people, women has the greatest instinct. Women has the greatest instinct and they'll do anything for the family. So when you do something, it's because your heart tells you so. Really just hang on to be, be firm on it. And when you hang on to it and you be firm on it, you attract all the good things people will start saying that, hey, you're very, very wise, okay? So this is a real story. 
When I first started my new skin business, someone said to me, Zen, it's so silly of you to give up your headhunting career because you're earning good money, you know, etc. And I said, uh, no, but I was looking for another platform. And he said, oh, you know, you're really silly. Five years later, when I'm a full-time mummy to my friends, they said, oh my, you're so wise, you're so wise, you chose this platform. I said, but I chose this platform five years ago, right, at that point mm. in time. So I always tell people, no matter what they say, at the end of the day, it's you. It's really yeah. you, so follow your heart. And all I can tell you is when I follow my heart, I mean, the journey is really not easy. I'm not going to lie, as I mentioned, I tell people, I work harder here than anywhere. But that's because I love it. I know that everything I do and every step I take is really to be a better person, have a better business, and to have a better life, okay? So it works every sweat, every tears, and every negative thing that come to me. But all I can tell you now is with time, because of the positivity that I have and the passion I have, I can tell you this negativity starts to drop because people start to say, hey, you're looking really happy. And I'll say, I am happy, you know? I am happy and I love it. I love it. So. I, I would tell you girls out there, ladies out there, fight for your dreams. No one else can fight for you except yourself. So you go girl. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Zen. Yes. I'm so convinced by the confidence, you know, the way that she's saying this Very has <laughs> you know, given her a chance to be able to at least be uh, a better mother, yes. right? A better wife, right? And so much more um, other things that is working out for you. Nicer, nicer. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Thank you, Zen. How about Fran? Let's hear from you. Um, I used to struggle between my career and my family. Yeah, because as a woman, I think I can do more than just being a mom. Yes. I should also have my own career and be financially independent. And then New Skin opened up my mind that there is a solution. Mm. Yeah, for us to give the best to our family in terms of uh, financial and time flexibility while we still can have a promising career being an entrepreneur. Yeah, um, certainly there, there are challenges along the way and sometimes we may doubt ourselves that, you know, whether we can really make it or not. Mm. Yeah, but trust me, I'm an introvert without any relevant experience. The journey is worth it, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, friend. All right, so Casey, what would you say um, to um, our friends out there, right, who may be thinking about starting a business on their own? I agree with Zen. If you want to start a business, firstly, be clear to yourself. What is your why? Why do you want to start a business? Start with the results in mind. Many new entrepreneurs, especially many are coming up in this, um, you know, this uh, few months of um, locking down, um, many of them start a new business and uh, sometimes I ask them, why do they start a business? And they, their answer would be like, I started a business because friends ask them to or because it is their hobby or because the family is in the business. That is why they follow the same traits. Those are possible choices, but to me, they are not really good reasons to start. We need to ask ourselves, what do we want to get out of a business? If we get to design our life, what kind of life do we want? With that in mind, find a business that will take us towards the direction of our dreams. Totally agree. <laughs> Thank you, Casey. And you know, to our audience, as obviously you can see, I'm surrounded with these uh, ladies right now. <laughs> How about men? <laughs> so let's not forget about men, as you know that this business might appear to be a women business, but in fact, there's a good percentage of men recognizing this opportunity. What's your message to all aspiring men entrepreneurs joining us this morning? Casey? My husband was the one who started the business and convinced me to join. So uh, in fact, he had never used any skincare before except for sometimes he borrowed mine when he had some pimples. So I was surprised he wanted to get started because back then, New Skin was all about skincare. So I'm a little bit opposite from Fran and Zen, yeah. But come to think about it, most men are the pillars and uh, heroes of their household, be it for their own family or if they are not married, for their parents. And but like everyone else, all heroes also have only 24 hours a day. If there is a business platform that, can live, that they can leverage to attain flexibility, why not? Thank you, Casey. Can we hear from Fran? Um, I think it's back to our positioning on the business. It's not about the gender, but the business potential and um, products demand. Yeah, time has changed. Who doesn't want to be healthy, 
and who doesn't want to look good, right? Look at the uh, Korean male pop stars, they mm. even apply lipsticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in this era, I think men, they don't only just want health, but they also want to be fit and look good. In fact, I have uh, many male customers also taking TL90, Ultimate Duo, even Lumi Spa and Skin Care. Yeah, so I think there's a huge potential in male market segment. So guys, uh, don't miss the opportunity to grab the growing anti-aging and wellness market. Mm. Okay. That's good. Thank so you, Frank. Then? Yeah, I know, you feel lonely and that's why yeah. the question, right? Yeah. It's very overwhelming here. Okay, yeah. I think it's simple. We welcome you guys. We welcome yeah. you, oh, right? We jo welcome, uh. join us, right? It may seem very overwhelming because you go girl, but actually there's also such a you go guy, right? But anyway, uh, I think Casey also said it, you know, friend also said it. I mean, with all those reasons, I don't see why, you know, um, wellness and beauty is only just focused on women. Like what, you know, friend said about the Korean super stuff, some of them are even slimmer and prettier than me, you know? And that's why they are called pretty boys and so that's a huge market out there so i really feel in this age and time so don't be so old-fashioned in this age and time there's no such thing of men or women business you know it's really what you really want like what friends say is positioning and as i mentioned personally um, the people that are buying all my skincare and devices are actually the very very vain guys right so don't let the feminism here you know uh, you know fool you we encourage you gentlemen to join us. We are very all love and conversing. We have changed, right? So it's equal opportunities to both men and women. So don't, you know, miss out on it. Really great global opportunity. And if we can, I think the guys definitely can, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Correct. So guys, men, what are you waiting for? Come. <laughs> <laughs> I think the potential is really huge, huge. Right? We just mentioned that this new skin business opportunity platform is a global one, right? And also with that evolution of technology these days, it allows us to really extend our reach to many more people. And I think that's where we come in or all of you as examples to be able to help these people become better in their lives and really truly be able to discover their best selves. I think that's what we want to be able to achieve the other um, at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah.